All right, so we're on to the next project uh, after the whole car debacle. Uh, waiting on the engine. Still hasn't gotten here because uh, this is five minutes after the last video. Um, so I bought this bad mamma jamma at the Harbor Freights, and it is this product, two-ton under-hoist safety stand. Now this is going to be normally used to go under a hoist, um, like a car lift that you would put you know, a car on. Or if you lifted up something really high, like on my gantry crane or something. I don't really know why I would want it up there. Um, I don't really have anything large and flat. But, this thing extends to a crazy amount. This bar, that hole, goes all the way up to that hole. So this thing is massively tall. And I don't need it to be that tall. The reason I bought this thing was for the boat. This one. Uh, why, why am I working on my boat now? I think that's a little crazy before I'm about to go leave. So it's pretty much set in stone. I'm getting orders up to uh, the frozen land of hatred, the Groton, Connecticut. And uh, don't really want to go. Pretty mad uh, about that whole situation. And I planned, uh, gonna get out of the Navy. Live a, a free life after this, worshiping Jesus and doing these projects and you know sharing my information with you guys. I uh, want to work for myself, probably get a little small job anyways just to pay the bills to be safe. But, so, cheap living is what I'm planning on doing. Instead of renting an apartment or something up there, um, they have a marine on base, and I called them, and it will cost me approximately 235 ish dollars to keep my 26-foot sailboat in a slip in the water. It will cost more to store this boat on the trailer up there and I will not be able to live in this boat for that $235 a month and that's the summer rate which is more expensive um, I, what's included in that is electricity and water and free Wi-Fi unmetered so I can use as much as I want I can put an electric heater in here all day all night through the winter time uh, they have Showering facilities, laundry facilities, and bathrooms, which is fantastic. So I don't have to worry about any of that on here. I have to worry about sleeping, heating, cooling, and food. Some way to cook food um, because I'm trying to live as cheap as possible. Luckily, this is on a trailer, so I can haul it with my big fat diesel truck all the way up there. Um, and then just put it in the boat ramp into the water, tie it up to a slip, and this will be my house. While I'm there, I'm going to have all of this space all to myself. I'm going to put a bunch of tools in there and, you know, work on this. So my number one goal right now is to get this thing floatable before I get orders. Um, so it doesn't have to be pretty, but I would like to paint the hole so that while it's in the water, I don't have to worry about that. Um, they do have a problem with sea growth up there. I remember because I used to serve up there on submarines, and their sea growth was insane. So... We're going to try a little project for that. Um, we'll get there. I don't want to spoil the surprise. But the biggest problem with this boat is this bad boy right here. This was a crack. It goes all the way underneath this piece here. I tried to repair it, but realized that it went all the way through. Now somebody tried to repair it with some kind of epoxy putty, and they left big air holes in it and uh, didn't do a good job of squaring this off or anything. They just cut out the inner hole, put in this plywood, and just did a complete gross patch job. So I'm gonna remove all of this, cause I don't, I wanna do this the right way. Uh, a lot of my information that I'm getting for this project comes from Boatworks Today. It's a fantastic channel. If you're into this uh, shipwright stuff, boatwright stuff, he, you know, his whole channel is devoted to that. It's fantastic. I recommend looking it up. Um, so yeah. I came to the problem that this crack goes under uh, this skid right here. So I have to lift this boat up or drop these down by loosening these fasteners. I'm not uncomfortable I'm not comfortable with loosening these fasteners and just dropping it down without this thing supported, so I need a boat jack. If you have tried to look for a boat jack, they're one, impossible to find, and two, extremely expensive. And then three, the quality is questionable. So this is designed to hold two tons. It's designed to support a load, uh, like a big truck or a car or something. Ideally, you would have four of these, one on each corner of your lift. 
to make sure the car doesn't, the lift doesn't fail and the car doesn't fall down you. Um, I know from building one, a four post lift that holds diesel trucks, that's kind of ridiculous because they have to have safety features on them these days. If you have a modern one, um, that they don't do that. In the old days, they were lifted by chains and those are extremely dangerous. Uh, Camden Diesel Rick, when he was younger, almost saw the owner of a shop, his son, get smashed by a truck. Uh, luckily, he stepped out and the truck just hit the ground instead. It was a crazy story, they told me. Um, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, so that's what you would use this for. If you look at it, and you know what a boat stand looks like, it's the same thing. Now, what is the difference? This one is insanely high. Um, so, it costs $75 normal price. I'm in the Inside Track Club, uh, which gave me the same discount as if I had a 20% coupon, $15 off. So I got it for like $66. Um, 66, 60, I don't know. That's what it came to with tax. Uh, so, it's too high for this boat. This measures 50 inches from the top to the bottom. And I need it to go about, let's check my numbers here. Oh, if I could just get you to focus today, robot. I need it to be about 35.5 inches. And that is at the lowest part of this boat. And I figured if I get them and I make them all the same for the worst case, you know, scenario that they have to be the lowest, they will also go higher. So for my boat, that will work out. And the tires really aren't inflated that great. Um, so the, I'm going to cut them, basically, is what this comes down to. One boat stand costs around $150. I got this stand at full price cost $75. That's half the cost. Um, so, if it's too tall and I have to cut it down, and I'm a welder a little bit, um, I have to cut this much off to get down there. It just works out perfectly, which will bring me... Um, I'm going to be taking off 18 and a half inches to that point. Uh, which brings me down to 31.5 by math, and I measured it, and that's uh, pretty much exactly where it goes to. It's still under the 35.5 inches. So I'm going to cut like an inch below this, um, this strut that goes between those legs. And then obviously this other piece that slides down in the inside, I'm going to have to make that shorter too. <clears throat> uh, I'm pretty much just going to be putting it on this area back here which is pretty flat so I'll probably just put a board underneath this piece like a 2x4 or something to protect the hull and you know spread out the the weight distribution so I don't really have to worry about making a custom head for it but I could do that and that wouldn't be too hard um, since this is already like this you would just build a piece of wood